in the first spot and the winner for the gold medal for our best residential area in Bangalore. Being such a big city and business hub, there are many neighborhoods and residential areas in Bangalore, not counting those already under construction. That makes it a bit difficult to pick among all of these and choose one that works. My name is Balaji Badrinath and I welcome you to my channel today. I will be presenting you with my countdown of the top 10 residential areas to live in Bangalore today. So stay until the end of this video if you want to learn which is my personal choice for the best residential area here and also subscribe to my channel for incredible real estate insights like today. Without further ado, let's begin. We are kicking off today's list with Electronic City. Electronic City is an IT hub in Bangalore spread over 800 acres with area comprising four zones in total. It features Electronic City phase one to four uh, and it was established by Kionix, one of the leading corporations in IT infrastructure development. Among the major companies located in Electronic City, we can mention Wipro, Tech Mahindra, Infosys, HCL and Biocon. Starting from the late 90s, Electronic City has undergone a lot of change in terms of the new residential properties. The majority of people working in Electronic City uh, companies prefer to stay in and around their companies. Hence, a large number of residential areas and properties are being developed here. The area is well connected with the rest of the city. As it's also a commercial area, uh, Electronic City has many affordable residential options and many of them have a low cost living. There are also many packers and movers in Electronic City which helps people move from one home to another easily. Next up, we have Banashankari. Banashankari is a prominent residential locality in Bangalore, getting its name from the Banashankari Amma Temple located on Kanakpura Road. It's known to be one of the Bangalore's oldest and most well-known temples and the area offers a lot of affordable living in residential apartments and great infrastructure facilities. In Banashankari, you will find educational institutions, shopping complexes, departmental stores, BDA parks and many malls. You know what, the crime rate here is almost non-existent and it is one of the most peaceful places to live in the city. So if you want a well-connected neighborhood with little noise, this one could be a good choice. The area is well connected by BMTC and there is also a Volvo bus facility to this area uh, connecting all the other locations of the city. The area has a reconstructed bus stand and a traffic transit management center. Next up, we have Sarjapur Road. Though it might seem like nothing more than a small village, Sarjapur has evolved rapidly into one of the most important localities in Bangalore. It's well connected to Whitefield, Outer Ring Road, Electronic City, Marathalli, Koramangla and many more. Many IT giants are located in Sarjapur Road, uh, which also means that many IT professionals are settled near the area. It's one of the safest residential localities in Bangalore too, which is a nice bonus. Coming in the seventh place of our list, we have HSR layout. It stands for Hozur Sarjapur Road layout, a suburb located in southeast Bangalore that lies in the Bumnali constituency of the State Assembly. It's a leading residential area due to being close to the many IT parks in Bangalore and also a gateway to the IT corridors of the city. It's a posh locality of Bangalore with wide streets, parks and modern civic communities such as organized drainage. This locality ensures you are taken care of very well with some of the best hospitals, restaurants, cafes, clubs, tree-lined avenues and much more. Next up, we have Whitefield. Whitefield has uh, Whitefield was established in the late 1800s as an original settlement for the Eurasians and Anglo-Indians of Bangalore, but it later evolved into a major suburb and has remained so today as a part of Greater Bangalore. Whitefield is home to many IT companies and IT parks, with an increasing number of people choosing to live in this area thanks to the job opportunities nearby. The high price accommodation is a problem here but Whitefield is also very well connected to the rest of the Bangalore. In fact, it's the main junction between the key highways connecting Hyderabad. The central business district of Bangalore is the area encircling around Vidhan Sauda. This is the center of the city and core commercial area of Bangalore and hence occupies together the fifth and the fourth spot of our list as one of the busiest parts of the city and at the same time, one of the best places to live in. The land is expensive, Brigade Road is Asia's third most expensive street and MG Road is the 13th most expensive. The main problem with it is the traffic and high cost of living mostly caused uh, by the location but its high quality and standard of living more than make up for those two issues. MG Road is lined up with top-notch restaurants, pubs, shopping areas, offices, hotels, theatres and more. It is also home to many buildings and banks. Our iconic Kingfisher Tower is here and it's considered to be one of the most expensive neighborhoods in the city. So most of those who live here are CEOs, high salary earners 
or have very high income sources. Among its main benefits, it has some of the best connectivity with all major ports and locations in Bangalore. For commuting, you can easily find cabs, autos and buses and in fact zip through metro rail throughout the city. It has also been recently modernized and developed to become one of the high quality areas of the city. Among its most notorious landmarks, we can find UB City and Brigade Road. In the third spot of our list, we have Jayanagar. Jayanagar is probably one of the most relaxing neighborhoods in Bangalore. You won't find skyscrapers nor immense tech condos here, but you will find classic single-story houses with wide tree-lined streets with a lot of historical significance. Jayanagar area is immensely popular as a music and cultural hub, its iconic food, its markets and its plethora of huge beautiful parks. Living in the heart of this area can be a little expensive but if you manage to search there, there are fewer areas better than Jayanagar. Survey by DNA Bangalore ranked Jayanagar as the most livable place in Bangalore and still maintains the old charm of the city which is also very nice. Next up we have Indranagar. Indranagar is a medium sized neighborhood located in the eastern Bangalore, Karnataka. One of its main benefits is how it is one of the Bangalore's newer areas. Uh, it is bounded by Alsur to the west, Domlo to the south, Bayapanali to the north and HL to the east. Indranagar is one of the most expensive localities in Bangalore but the quality of life here is quite worth it. Indranagar is divided into two stages with the first stage being the largest the villages with which existed before the formation of Indranagar such as Binnamangala, Lakshmipuram, Motapanpalaya, Aparadipalaya, Dupanahalli, Kodihalli and Tippasandra as well as the neighboring BDA layout such as HL second stage and HL third stage are often considered as a part of Indranagar. The Indranagar Sangeeta Sabha organizes music and dance programs. It also conducts promotional activities, seminars, puppet shows and annual cultural programs like vocal and instrumental music concerts. Sangeeta Sabha constructed Purandara Bhavan which promotes performing arts, theatres and drama. Close to the Sangeeta Sabha, one can find the Indranagar club spread across two and a half acres of land. The membership fee is high at 10 lakh rupees and the club boasts of some of the best gyms and workout equipment, yoga clubs, tennis courts, basketball ground, billiards, um, exclusive card room and a small library. In Indranagar, you will find some of the best cafes, pubs, breweries, restaurants and many of them also multi-cuisine or international class located in Bangalore. It also has some of the great nightlife and lively pubs. So if you move to Indranagar, you will always find something to do. In the first spot and the winner for the gold medal for our best residential area in Bangalore, we have Koramangla. Hands down the best residential neighborhood in Bangalore, it's connected with most of the major locations of the city like Electronic City, Hosur Road, Intermediate Ring Road, Old Airport Road, etc. Koramangla is situated in the southeastern part of Bangalore. It is one of the largest neighborhoods and it is a highly sought residential locality with wide tree-lined boulevards and a mix of luxury apartments, commercial structures and posh bungalows. It's also known as Bangalore's most prominent startup hub. Koramangla has many upscale residential apartments too, though it also has a lot of variety of uh, home accommodations with many areas offering cheaper options. In fact, one of South India's largest shopping malls, the Forum Mall is located here. So what are your thoughts on these incredible residential areas where you can choose to live in Bangalore? Let me know in the comments. Also make sure to leave me a like, share the video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications for more videos like this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.